The beginning of this intro did not come out, so I'm just going to have to tell you where we're at. We are in Lidditz, Pennsylvania, at the Family Cupboard. Now let's end it in Jambi in the Hill style. Now we've never been here before, so we're pretty excited about it. And they specialize in Pennsylvania Dutch food. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Dinner buffet Monday through Thursday, four to eight. Soup and salad bar, that's all you want. And they have a seafood buffet on a Friday night, 1949. And a Saturday night buffet, 1649. I'd like to be here for that seafood buffet, that sounds good. Alright, so we're gonna head up to the buffet and see what they have. All right, let's look. Starting off with a chicken pot pie, macaroni and cheese, and stewed tomatoes. Some buttered noodles, rotisserie chicken. Bobby's gonna get some peas. So peas, carrots, and green beans. Corn and lima beans. They're keeping everything full. Mashed potatoes and bread filling, so stuffing. Beef cubes, ham, and Salisbury steak. There's ham in there, and there's the beef cubes. We have beef gravy, chicken gravy, and barbecue meatballs. Let's go over to the other side. So it has some rolls there. Chicken corn chowder. And what's that? Hamburger macaroni. macaroni. That looks good. It does good. look good. Smells good. Yeah. Smells good, so yeah. It does. Take a look at it. Hamburger macaroni. Well, that does look good in there. Here is the salad bar. This place is really busy tonight. There's a cucumber salad back there. It's pretty nice. Got a lot of different dressings. So it's pretty reasonable. $15.95. You can't beat that. Pearl tapioca. Grape tapioca. Peach tapioca. Applesauce. Regular tapioca. We have some egg custard. Rice pudding. Mint chocolate delight. There's chocolate eclair back there. Peanut butter, icing cake, and carrot cake. All right, I'm with Tom. Can you tell us a little bit about this place? What their hours are and the different buffets well, they have? Since uh, the resurgence after the pandemic, we have opened up uh, full time now. Monday through Saturday, we're closed on Sunday. They've been closed on Sunday for as long as I've been working here, which is about 10 years. Uh, this place uh, has been the Livis Family Cupboard for approximately 22 years. Um, our specialty night is seafood night, buffet, Friday nights, um, steamed clam, steamed shrimp, fried shrimp. Um, that sounds good, I like seafood. <laughs> yes, uh, we also have baked salmon, 
and uh, baked whitefish. Uh, so, it, and it's a very popular night. We have a waiting list of a couple hours usually on Friday night. So it's a blessing to be here. And you don't even have to get a buffet. You just have regular meals That's also. Right. That's right. We have a menu uh, item that you can get off the grill. So either or. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks for talking with hey, us. Hey, you bet. Hope to all see you here. All right. Thank you. See the place, Matt. So let's give thanks. That's really nice. That is. Okay. I'm going to try the um, stuffing first. It's a moist stuffing. See that? There's yeah. some celery in it. I like that. As you can taste the um, chicken broth in that. It's got a lot of uh, flavor to that. I got the mashed potatoes with the um, chicken gravy. Those are real potatoes. Those are nice and fluffy. Peas. I know they're just basic, but for all you that like your vegetables. And this is Salter steak. You would like those peas. Or baby peas. Off. This is the way to go to get the buffet. Yeah. It's nice and tender. So I'm happy with everything I got. All right, guys. First time through. I had to try these barbecue meatballs. Look tasty. Mm -hmm. Got a little tangy barbecue sauce. Those are excellent. Who's to see them on a buffet? Had to get my noodles. You love those noodles? I do. I mm -hmm. had to get them. Nice flavor. Definitely hot. I mean, the meatballs are hot, so so far, everything is. It looks, you see the steam coming off. Those noodles taste great. I just love them. I mean, this is one of my favorite things when coming to the Amish area for the noodles. This is a. Uh, Chicken pot pie. Well, let's get some chicken in there. Tastes like chicken noodle soup. Oh, does it? The noodles. I don't, I don't like taste any like chicken pot pie, like the flaky. I don't even with see the, any in there. With the breading on it. They do, no. they do theirs a little bit yeah, different, maybe. That tastes like chicken noodle what soup. You're using. Chicken's done well. You might find some peas in there, too. There might be. <laughs> I didn't see any. This carrots, macaroni and cheese. not bad. I would get it against my least favorite of what I've tried so far, but it's good and it's, it's hot. Now, I'll just try this ham. You saved the best for last. I love ham, so I had to get two pieces. That's why I didn't get any chicken on this first time. Here we go. Again, melt in your mouth ham. Has some apple on it. It's hot. It's not, it's not like a sugar ham or like, it's not really even a little salty. It's just, it's good tasting. I, I like it, so I'm, I'm happy with this meal. Have some more desserts in this cooler. This is a weekday, so this is a slow time for them. Sugar-free shelf. Just noticed this, they also have ice cream. Saw the ice cream cone sitting here with some toppings. Just, just one more look down through here. Tom wants to tell me about something unique they have here also. Well, what it is, it's called pig stump. And I know that name in itself might make you want to cringe a little. But let me tell you, me being from Seattle and coming to Lancaster County in this restaurant here, I found out what it is. And what it is is sausage, potatoes cubed up, uh, celery and some spices cooked inside, baked inside the lining of the pig stomach and chopped up skin and all you eat is basically I guess what the Amish would have in place of filling or stuffing at Thanksgiving or Christmas and I didn't think it was gonna 
go as well as it does, all ages eat that thing. And it's not something that I have ever desired before because I never heard of it, but it's good. All Come right. Come on down. Okay. Check it out. I got a salad. There's so many different things to choose from. Of course, I got the black olives, onions, cheese, mushrooms. They had plenty up there. Got my beets, the roll, and I had beef stew up there. There's some meat. That's a big piece of yeah. meat in there. Carrots, tomatoes, cabbage. Now, the only thing I wish they had, because ever since I was a kid, I've always liked to eat um, soup with peanut butter sandwiches. So this one's really been good to duck peanut butter sandwich in there. I'll try it. Let me just get it. It's hot. The broth's really good. With all those vegetables and the meat. Actually got that piece of meat for you because oh, yeah, it's big. I'm not a big fan That's of That's a meat. big piece. This is I like this. But like I said, I wish I had some peanut butter. And just the basic salad. Alright guys, I can go back a second time. Got noodles, got some chicken, rotisserie chicken, some coleslaw, some corn, and cucumber salad. Let's just try that first. Yeah, it's one of our favorite things, oh, cucumber salad. Man, look how thin the cucumbers are cut. I get that's gonna get it all over me. That's a nice flavor with the onions and that broth, whatever that's in, it's just so good. Look at this chicken. That's a big piece. It is. They've cut it. They've cut it off there, so it's just suppressed. It's just, just look, tear it open. Looks good. Looks, looks tender, huh? It doesn't. It just tears apart. And that is real tender. Got a little bit of skin on there. I like that. But that's a decent sized piece of meat. It really tastes great. There's some coleslaw. It's cut up fine like mm. we like it. Coleslaw tastes good too. I mean, everything. It's just corn. It's going to be corn. I mean, corn is corn, but yeah. you see this. They're keeping everything hot up there. I haven't come across anything that's cold. No, I, I haven't either. I mean, they, it's moving. Yeah, and it's just because it's a busy today. They're keeping up on it. They are. Wow, Bobby, that looks so good. I know. Carrot cake. Look, don't drop it, Bobby. Cream cheese icing on there. It's cold. This is a moist cake. Did you see how moist that was? Yeah. I really like that. But I had to get the chocolate cake with peanut butter icing. My mom always made that when we were kids. Yeah. And they're cut decently sized, so they you can eat two pieces. Peanut butter icing reminds me of that peanut butter you, you love to buy in the jar. Oh, from the Amish cup. Yeah, that, that's delicious. I don't know which one I like that. Peanut best. butter up here is like but candy tasting. Yeah. Tastes like fudge. They both look good. I had to get chocolate Claire. It just looked too good. I couldn't pass it up. Man, that chocolate. It's so rich. And this cream, this eclair filling. It's just so creamy and so tasty. There you go, guys. That's better than a chocolate eclair that you get. It's that good. Bobby, you know what that is? She fly pie. We're in Amish country. You know I got a good shoe fly pie. I just take it, look at it this way. Doesn't that look good? To you, it probably does. I was going to say no because <laughs> I don't like shoe fly pie. That is so sweet. That's molasses. I mean, that's what that's made with. It's nice and cold. So I don't think I've ever had a bad shoe fly pie any place in this area. I'm gonna see something unusual here. <laughs> Bobby's gonna try shoe fly pie. He never really cares for no, this I stuff. No, I don't really care for it, but I'm gonna try it. John says it's really good. It is. You know, I'm not a fan of shoe fly pie, but that one's actually pretty good. Out of all the shoe fly pies that you tried, this has to be the best. You liked it the best. Yeah. It is good. 
No doubt about that. There's the address if you guys want to come, punch it in your GPS. Two dinner buffets, $30.50 with a beverage for a grand total of $35.50. Have a lot more seating than what you saw when I went around it. There's another banquet room. I want to show you too that have a bakery down here. And that's where all those cakes are coming from. It's closed right now. Can't really see in it. And there's some cakes in there. So it's called the cake and the cup. What did you think about it? I thought there was a variety of different food there to choose from for $15 a person. Mm. I mean, that was that, that was excellent, wasn't it? I mean, all you can eat. Now, we tried, I think, at least four different meats, and all of them were very tender. They had a lot of flavor to them. There's a lot of vegetables on there. The mashed potatoes were real mashed potatoes. They weren't instant or anything. I tried the salad bar, which there was a variety of different vegetables and stuff to put on your salad. But the, my favorite thing, even though all that food was excellent, had to be that chocolate cake with peanut butter icing. It was good. It just reminded me of when I was a young girl, my mom always made that for us. Um, your shoe fly pie. I do not like shoe fly pie. I don't know what they did different with that, <laughs> but it was good. Um, our waitress, Nancy, she was, she, hard. she was, I mean, she was busy, but she was there checking on every table she had. I like how they kept that buffet going, didn't they, mm -hmm. John? Once one thing was empty, oh. they were putting it, replacing yeah. it. Talking about the buffet, I want to say props to Tom. Thank you, Tom, first from coming on here and saying yeah, a few thanks, things Tom. about the place. But he kept that buffet up. He did. Chocolate Claire went empty. He had it full instantly. He was working hard. He was, and they kept it clean, didn't clean. they? Because a lot of times you know how people spill stuff at buffets. That thing was always clean. They were right there cleaning everything up. So it, it looked neat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you go to buffets, when you see food there, you're kind of like, oh, it's, yeah. it's sloppy looking. But oh, they, this one everybody wasn't. did a great job. They did there. a great job. And that food, for 15 bucks, like Bobby said, you cannot go wrong with that. I mean, you could order something off the menu, but why? I might as well just pay the yeah. extra 15, and you 15 could couple bucks extra. And that way it. you try different things. Yeah. You know, see what you like, the ham or the chicken or Salisbury steak. Now, this is about... Uh, half an hour from where we were at in the main Amish country out there in Strasburg and, and Ronks and all that so it's not right there but it's worth traveling a half an hour to get yeah, this it, meal everything was, was closed in that area yeah. tonight and everything like we said on that buffet was was fresh it was hot and they did a great job need to come back and get the seafood buffet we that did. sounds great so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again J&B have left the building